From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Welcome to Breaking News, the show where we don't know what we're about to say and we're not allowed to smile or laugh. I'm Dark Lord Blood Cruel the Defiler. And my name is also Dark Lord Blood Cruel the Defiler. No relation, just by coincidence. In health news, today scientists announced that brains don't actually do anything. This overturns the long-standing belief that brains were an important part of the human body. According to a report from the World Health Organization, quote, Brains are useless. <laughs> brains are just lumps of gray gristle and aren't responsible for thought or emotion. Brains are the same exact goop you find in pimples. You could rip out your brain and it wouldn't make a difference and you'd be totally fine. Scientists found out that what actually makes thought possible is your nipples. Your nipples are very sensitive to things like sexy ice cubes being rubbed on them because they have lots of nerves. And those nerves also form the basis of all thought and intellect. Albert Einstein was so smart because his nipples were unusually long, nearly three inches, like a pair of pink caterpillars dangling off his chest. Super gross. This really makes sense. I've always suspected that nipples are what makes the human mind possible. Oh, why is that? Well, when I touch my nipples, I always get a little tingly feeling. And then I, t I touch them harder, I squeeze them. I, 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 get, I get my cat to nibble them a little, and, and it really it really gets that sensation going, and I go, mmm, that feeling, that must be what the brain feeling feels like. That's why. Science truly is amazing. In other news, millennials are at it again. Ugh, millennials are the idiots that destroy everything. Millennials are the children that grew up into villains. To find out the latest about bad, dumb millennials, we turn to our Recurring segment, Millennial Morons with Mo, Mark, and Darkin. Hi, Mo. What are millennials killing today? The latest thing millennials are ruining is dumping garbage in the river. They refuse to do it. Millennials don't want the river full of garbage because they prefer it when rivers are made of water instead of trash. But rivers are the best place for garbage. Uh, when you have garbage, you throw it in the river, and the river takes it away. Rivers are nature's toilet. Instead, millennials throw their garbage in a millennial invention called the garbage can. Then a hipster called the garbage man takes the garbage to a millennial safe space called the garbage dump. Making rivers disgusting is an American tradition. Sad to see it end because of millennials. Millennials have no respect for the past. They ruin everything. What else have millennials destroyed? <laughs> so many things. Let me list them for you. Cat food, um, science, sports, baseball, basketball, frisbee, drinking, whiskey, rye whiskey. No, could you name nine more things? <laughs> yes. Keanu Reeves, popcorn, Yoda, juggling, a yo-yo, a blue yo-yo, <laughs> a green yo-yo, uh, the number eight and the number nine. And that's why I hate millennials. My son is a millennial and, and I hate him. Uh, <laughs> he is my enemy now because he doesn't like all the things I like. What does your awful son do? Oh, I'll tell you all about my horrendous millennial son. He has a phone and um, he's talking on it all the time. Damn. And uh, he's always like, shut up, dad. And uh, he will go in his room and even though I turn off the Wi-Fi, he comes out and he's like, hey, if you don't turn the Wi-Fi on, I'm gonna kill mom. <laughs> and, uh, and I talk to him about how that's not acceptable. And uh, then he, he's nine and he <laughs> took my car to the gas station and ran it into one of the gas pumps and uh, I had to pay for it, it's $40,000. Um, it's good he's driving though. Yeah. Yeah, shows initiative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I hate him, and uh, that's why I hope my son gets hit by a car. Millennials, ugh. Thanks for that report, Mo. Every time I hear about how awful millennials are, it makes me glad that they're poor and in debt and can't afford doctors, so if they get sick, they just get sicker and sicker until they die. We now turn to breaking news out of China, where a major disaster is unfolding. Our foreign correspondent, Chuck Buttstone, is live on the scene in Beijing. Chunk, what's going on down there? 
Everyone's worst nightmare has just come true. <laughs> Today, Jackie Chan held a press conference where he announced that he's evil now and he's going to beat up everybody for fun. Why? Why would Jackie Chan do that? Jackie Chan said, quote, I'm bored for only fighting people for pretend in movies. I want to test my martial arts skills in the real world and inno on innocent men, women, and children. I'm doing this because I've turned evil for no reason. For years, I've been afraid of Jackie Chan turning evil and misusing his karate powers. I prayed this day would never come. Countless people have been beaten up as Jackie Chan <laughs> roams the streets, punching and kicking without mercy. Everywhere I look, people are laying on the ground, groaning and asking for ice packs to soothe their bruised bodies. Has Jackie Chan shown any sign of slowing down his karate rampage? <laughs> no, he said he won't stop until he's kicked everyone's ass. Everyone in China? No, everyone in the world. <laughs> he will not stop until he's kicked the ass of all humanity. Jackie Chan said he's going to beat up China, then walk across the rest of the earth, <laughs> continent by continent, walloping every single person one by one. Did the Chinese government try to stop Jackie Chan? Yes, they sent their entire army to arrest him, but soldiers made the mistake of attacking him inside a grocery store, <laughs> and Jackie Chan used all the fruits and vegetables to fight them <laughs> off in creative ways, just like in his movies. How exactly did Jackie Chan use fruits and vegetables to defeat the entire Chinese army? Um... Can you describe the fight scene step by step? Sure. <clears throat> Here's what Jackie Chan did. First, he grabbed a banana. He shoved it into somebody's eye. <laughs> that was just step number one. Next, he walked over to the oranges. He opened them up. Opened them? Opened them up. <laughs> and he put the sour part directly into somebody else's eye. It did a lot of eye stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was running around and he ran into the cereal aisle and knocked yeah. on all the cereal on a different man. So no, Jackie Chan did not kill that man. Someone else did. <laughs> Jackie Chan then went over to the lettuce. He shoved it down somebody's throat. Somebody choked on the lettuce <laughs> and they died. Should I keep going? <laughs> What's nine more items? <laughs> <laughs> I'll quickly list them. <clears throat> Jackie Chan killed someone using paper plates. Watermelon. Life cereal. Smart popcorn. Cheetos. Four more? Four more? Yeah, that's five. Okay. I can do this. Just four things that <laughs> are in a grocery store. <laughs> I want to be accurate. Okay. Avocado. Someone had an, a, an avocado allergy and he knew it. <laughs> Tomatoes, pasta sauce, and the last one, frozen pizza. Wow, <laughs> wow, that's scary stuff. That does it for us, but before we go, we'll announce that our loser this week is Carolyn. Thanks for watching. I liked Jackie Chan. Yeah, yeah. He turned evil for no reason. Yeah, for no reason at all. It's terrible.